Hi, welcome to week nine of the 110 Steps Workshop. Now, 10 weeks seems to be a long time for a workshop to go for, long time for you to focus on. But you know, it's actually only a school term. We used to be able to do this all the time and have exams at the end. I'm not asking you to take an exam. What I'm asking you to do is don't sell yourself short and go for six weeks, five weeks, four weeks, three weeks. I know you're going to fall off the wagon at three week mark, everybody does, but next time through you get better at it and you last longer. Uh, hopefully if you fell off the week, wagon at three week mark, you got back on and started your three weeks again and started three weeks again. Each time you get better. And that's what this whole process is all about. Weight loss is not about eating well and living well and living longer. It is about becoming a different person to who you were 10 weeks ago. Weight loss is a self-development course. And let's just go on with this week's workshop. As I said, this is your Extra Mile Weight Loss Online Learning. I'm Peter Kenyon and I'm a weight loss educator, which means I teach people how to eat well, lose weight and start feeling great about themselves again. I give people just one more option in their life. Now last week's task, you were asked to introduce walking to your lifestyle. How'd you go? Did you go for a walk once, twice, three times, seven times? How did you go with last week's task? This week being week nine, we're looking at a system for health. And there's no one thing. We're going to look at see how the whole thing comes together to give you good health and longevity. A lot of organizations give you a diet plan and tell you you've got to live a healthy lifestyle. And that's it. Weight loss groups do it, gyms do it. Giving you a diet plan and saying good luck is like giving you the keys to a plane when you want to be a pilot and go, there are the keys, there's the plane, off you go. It's not going to work. You need the education system that comes with it. And we spend a lot of time with the education on extra mile weight loss because education is the biggest part of the weight loss process. You have to know what to do, how to do it, and more importantly, why you want to do it. A lot of organizations don't look at the education process because one, it's complicated, two, it's a long time process. You've got to devote a lot of time to helping your client. And that's why we do it via the internet. So we can turn your phone into your education system. We also last week looked at the exercise. Now exercise is an integral part of a healthy lifestyle. So you must understand that you have to do it. When you go to the doctor with a problem, particularly around my age or you know, pushing 60, you go to the doctor and he says, Oi, guess what? We're looking at your body weight. You're carrying too much weight. That's where everything starts. We start with our body weight. We're looking at our body weight. And when we look at our body weight, the first thing we do is start looking for a diet plan. So you've got to find a diet plan. Naturopaths have known for decades that if you work on somebody's digestive system, and get a good digestive health, you will develop a better body and help all the other systems in the body. So we're told that first up to eat the correct amount of protein for a body weight we want to be. We're told to focus on fiber for the fruits and the vegetables and the look at probiotic and prebiotic rich foods. We're also asked to consider using aloe vera. Aloe vera helps to repair the internal lining of our digestive system. When it comes to developing a healthy endocrine system, we're asked to avoid simple sugars, refined carbohydrates, soft drinks, saturated fats, deep fried foods, and processed meat. And guess what? These are the foods that we're told to avoid on our diet plan. We're asked to eat five to six meals a day. Isn't that what we're asked to do on a diet plan? A healthy diet plan says to eat five to six meals a day to help keep your blood sugar levels constant. Asked to eat more oats, Asked to eat more oily fish and to use aloe vera to help with the endocrine system again. To help develop a healthy circulatory system, that's our blood supply system, we're asked to reduce total dietary fat to 20% of calories. We're asked to reduce salt intake and we're asked to avoid coffee and tea. Now, are these the foods we're told to avoid on our diet plan? We're asked to eat more oily fish, eat more fiber, eat more fermented foods, eat more ginger and drink two liters of water a day and introduce exercise into your lifestyle. This helps to develop a healthy circulatory system. Now the important thing is the processes that improve the digestive system, the endocrine system and the circulatory system have an impact directly on the immune system. You only need to get control of these first three systems to help all the rest of the system. 
And the processes that improve the digestive system, the endocrine system, and the circulatory system have a direct impact upon the nervous system. When it comes to a healthy skeletal system, the formation of bones requires the presence of minerals such as calcium, magnesium, manganese, and fluoride. Now, these are found in the foods that we're required to eat on a healthy diet. Vitamin C is required for the formation of collagen fibers to give the bone strength. Now, I'm a big believer in, in vitamin C supplementation. It's hard to get the required amount of vitamin C just from our fruit and vegetables alone. So for me, I just take a vitamin C supplement. To develop a healthy skeletal system, you've got to be aware that carrying around too much weight has a direct long-term effect on the joints of the skeletal system. You know, a lot of joint problems that we have as we get older come back to being carrying around too much weight. That means we have to lose weight. We do that with exercise. And guess what? Your muscular system is maintained through exercise and proper diet with sufficient but not too much protein. So guess what? Everything that we're doing to help the digestive system, the endocrine system, the circulatory system, the immune system, the nervous system, the skeletal system, all goes to help the muscular system, which brings us back to a healthy body weight because all those things are required to bring about a healthy body weight. You see, you can't just work on one system without affecting the other systems. Nothing is separate in the body. It's all interrelated. Next week, we're going to be talking about lifestyle maintenance. Because we get to the point, you've reached your goal weight. So let's talk about lifestyle maintenance. Thank you for listening to the 110 Steps Weight Loss Workshop. This has been week nine.